After being delayed for over a year, Black Widow is finally out in theaters and on Disney Plus for a premium price. Yes! So this is my spoiler-free review for Black Widow. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Arjun and I'm a huge fan of the MCU. When it comes to Black Widow, I've really been looking forward to this movie for three reasons. First off, it's an MCU movie and I'm excited for any MCU movie. Second, I really like spy action movies and Captain America the Winter Soldier is one of my favorite MCU movies. So I was expecting this one to be kind of similar to that. So. That's another reason. And finally, I love Black Widow's characters. She's one of my top three MCU characters. So naturally, I was excited to watch this film. Before I tell you guys what I thought about it, tell me down below in the comments, have you seen Black Widow? If you did, what did you think about it? If you haven't, are you gonna watch it? I'd love to know your thoughts. With that said, let's get started talking about the good. And yeah, this may just be the excitement of watching a Marvel movie again in the theater for the like the first time in two years but I actually really ended up enjoying this movie. I thought it was really entertaining and just overall a really well-made film. I really enjoyed all the characters and the cast were really great in their roles. Of course, Scarlett Johansson as Natasha Romanoff, our main character, was great. I don't think this is her best performance, but it's a close second right behind Avengers Endgame. I think she does a great job. She has a great camaraderie with other characters and just her performance itself was really good. Her sister, Yelena, I, I also thought she was really good. And I really enjoyed her backstory as well. Uh, her performance was great and just, she was really funny. She brought a lot of levity to the movie because this is a really dark movie, especially comparing it to a lot of the other MCU movies. Red Guardian, played by David Harbour, was great. I really enjoyed him. He had a lot of funny moments. He's probably the funniest character in the movie. He just has this likable personality throughout the whole movie that I personally really enjoyed. But even though he is like that, there's this part of him that's just kind of dumb and he doesn't understand other people's emotions. So I really enjoyed the arc that he got throughout the whole movie. I also really enjoyed Rachel Weisz as Melina, Natasha's and Yelena's mom. I thought she did a great performance and just some of the moments that she had throughout the movie were a lot of fun. But I just thought her character and how she played into the story was really good. I also thought the story was quite good. It was really gripping and uh, just put you in there and I really enjoyed it. Like I said, it was much darker than any of the other MCU movies. And I honestly was really surprised by that. Based off of the trailers, the movie looked like it was gonna be really funny and have all these funny moments and stuff. And yes, it did have funny moments, but it was not a comedy. This was a really dark movie with some mature themes and I really appreciated that. I really enjoyed the stuff that they uh, explored about human trafficking and how just everything they showed us in the opening credits specifically. If you haven't seen the movie, I won't spoil anything, but the opening credits basically show what happened to Natasha and Yelena when they were in the Red Room. And it was just really dark and I appreciated how far they went with it. And the movie just sets up these bad guys that you want taken down because they're doing some terrible evil things. They're taking little girls from their parents and they're turning them into assassins and taking away their childhood, their life, and their free will. So instantly you have these bad guys that you want taken down. It's not like in other movies where there's just like a time limit and you have to finish this by this time or else something bad will happen. It's not that type of situation. The bad guys are already doing the bad things. You just have to stop them from keeping on doing it and doing it again. And I appreciated that. It's a really, it's pretty much a revenge story in a lot of ways. And that made me enjoy the movie even more. I also thought the action was handled really well for the most part. It was brutal and it's, it's probably the most brutal action sequences in any of the MCU movies. Every single punch hits hard. It's like when you're watching it, it's just like, whoa, that, that must have hurt. When you watch an action movie or any superhero movie even, a punch is pretty common. 
someone could get punched and it really wouldn't matter. But here, someone could get punched or hit on their head with a plate or something and it actually feels like it hurt. And I appreciated that. There's a lot, there's this one scene where uh, one of the characters just keeps on getting punched and they don't try to defend themselves. And it just, if you're watching the movie, you know what I'm talking about. It just looks like it hurts but in the movie doesn't feel in, in the movie the character doesn't act that way but it's just when you're watching it feels so disturbing and gross and just i really like how brutal they went with the action scenes i also thought the movie took some clever twists and turns and i appreciated all of them and they were really well done i didn't see a lot of them coming some of them were predictable they but they were executed so well that i was able to forgive that and there's so much stuff going on in the movie and you're just following through and it's just really enjoyable and there's this fun tone throughout the whole thing even though it's super dark so i i i had a really good time with this movie with all that being said this isn't a perfect movie so let's go into some of my negatives and the biggest bummer here is that taskmaster wasn't a great villain first off taskmaster isn't even our main villain he's just a henchman so when you're watching this character in action scenes it's good. I think most of the action scenes he was in were really, really good. I really enjoyed it. And just the way he was mimicking other people's moves was incredible. But you could have done a lot more with the character with these kinds of abilities that can just mimic whatever anything another person does. There's scenes in the in the movie where this character, Taskmaster, is, uh, he's just copying other people and just able to beat them. And you just want to see more of that. But the movie feels like it's trying to hide Taskmaster. When you're watching the movie, he isn't in a majority of the movie. And in a lot of the action scenes, he isn't present. So I was a little disappointed by that. I would have loved to see more of this character just to see how cool he would be in the action sequences. I also thought our main villain, even though he was like really hateable, you hate our main villain, you want him taken down. But the thing is, he doesn't have enough development. He doesn't have any backstory. He's just a bad guy doing evil things. So you, uh, so they're trying to take him down. Now throughout the whole movie, I hated this guy. I wanted him taken down because he did some terrible things. And that was good. I appreciated that angle that they took that uh, it was different and I enjoyed it, but I would have liked to see at least some sort of backstory, maybe some flashbacks or something about how this character came about to how he is now. And the final thing I wanna talk about here is I wasn't a fan of the final battle. Now, I like the third act overall. There's some clever twists done here and there, and there's some cool action scenes, hand-to-hand -hand combat action scenes. But like the big uh, fight where everyone's falling down from the sky and they're shooting each other and fighting in the sky and trying to save each other using a parachute and stuff, it just felt too weird and not realistic. I feel like they just wanted to do a lot of spectacle and make it epic and just show off the budget. And I don't think that worked for a movie like this because this is a more grounded story. I feel like they could have done a better job making it more realistic and just make it maybe hand-to-hand -hand combat. That way we would have even got to see more of Taskmaster fighting. Like I said, I did enjoy the hand-to-hand -hand combat and some of the twists that they did. And there were a lot of clever stuff in it but the main fight itself where they're dropping from the sky it just didn't work as well for me but yeah overall i thought this was a solid new mcu movie it had a lot of good stuff some negatives but for the most part i enjoy it and it was a great comeback for the mcu because it had no movies for the past two years before i give you guys my final score tell me down below in the comments what did you think of black widow did you enjoy it did you hate it or were you somewhere in the middle i'd love to know your thoughts with that said, I'm going to give this movie a B plus or an A minus. I'm not 100% sure because I've only seen it once. I, I feel like I need to let it soak in for a while to understand where I land on it. On an entertainment scale, though, I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10. It was a solid movie. I really enjoyed it. I would definitely rewatch it again. Maybe not too much like I do some of the other MCU movies, but I still really enjoy it. So yeah, that's my thoughts on Black Widow. If you enjoyed my review, be sure to leave a like. It really helps me out. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And I'll see you next time. Bye.